Today we're going to design a mask inspired by different cultures and the artists Karen Hickson and Angu Walters. The first step is to fold our paper in half lengthways so that we can do two designs, one on each half. One with the colours and patterns from Karen Hickerson and the other one inspired more by the colours and patterns of Angu Walters. Okay, once you've folded your paper in half, you can draw the outline of your mask using a white oil pastel. So have a look at the mask images on the table. I'm going to have a look at this giraffe mask and take the shape from there. Now you can add your own shapes and features onto your masks, but just take the original ideas from one of the pictures. Once you have your outline, you can start to add some of the features. So you might want to add some eyes. So I'm going to add some of the, on one half, I think I'll add the eyes from the Angu Walters mask. So on the first half, so it has these kind of oval eyes. And then on the other half, I think I'll take inspiration from one of the Karen Hickerson masks and look at um, some of the designs from the Day of the Dead with these kind of circle eyes with the curved patterns around it. Now that I've got my eyes, I can have a look at the noses. And again, for the first half, I think I'll have a look at one of these noses from Angu Walters, and so I'll add those kind of shapes, and on the other half I think I'll have one of these noses from the Karen Hickerson page. Next, I need to add a mouth. Okay, so the Angu Walters uh, pages have some, these kind of long oval mouths with patterns around them. So I think I'll go with that for this side. On the other side, I'm going to go for Karen Hickinson's style mouth from the Day of the Dead again. And I think I'll do some kind of teeth from a skeleton. Once you've got the main shapes, you can start to add colour. So um, on one side, I'm going to do black and white patterns, and the other side, I'm going to do more colour blending. Um, so the black and white for Karen Hickson and the colour blending for Angu Walters. Okay, so I'll start with the colour blending. Now, if we look at the African patterns and the Angu Walters patterns, there's lots and lots of bright colours and in this one in particular you can see that the colours blend together so that's the kind of look that I want to achieve. So you might want to go for a nice bright outline to begin with. So if we press quite hard with the pastels we can get quite bright colours. So I'll outline in yellow to begin with and then I'm going to take some orange and work with, with it blending lines down and then I'll fade the orange into a different colour. So I think I'll blend the orange going up into a red. So I'm overlapping the colours one over the other. So I'm overlapping the colours to blend the colours. I'm working with the oil pastels quite thickly. And then I think I'll fade that out into a blue. So again, I'm overlapping blue over the red to blend the colours together. I'm 
you can pick out further details by drawing lines on top and you can work with it in lots of interesting ways. Then you can move on to the Karen Hickerson patterns. So for the Karen Hickerson patterns I'm going to stick to just a black and white colour palette. So I'm going to press on hard with the white to make it stand out and make the lines a little bit thicker so that you can really see them. If the oil pastel snaps don't worry sometimes that happens. Okay so for the eye I'm going to leave it quite blank inside but rather than just leave the paper I'm going to actually block it in with, with the black oil pastel to make it really stand out. And then I'm going to look at the different patterns on the Karen Hickson designs to see where my inspiration comes from.